Metal Jesus here and I'm back again this time with another Let's Play video. But don't worry, I'm not gonna change my YouTube channel into a Let's Play channel. No, 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 no. I just like to do these occasionally because as you guys know, I like hidden gems and Splashdown Rides Gone Wild is one of those hidden gems that was sadly overlooked. And I like to tell people about it every chance I get. But the thing is, in order to get this game, you really need to see it in motion because one of its awesome features is that the tracks are radically different for every lap. They evolve, they change, they open up. They're very cool. This is one of my favorite racing games on the PlayStation 2. So let's take a look. All right, let's jump right into it here. Now, to start off with, one of my favorite things about this game is the characters. You guys know I'm a big fan of SSX Tricky and SSX3, and one of my favorite parts about that game was all the really over-the-top fun characters. And this game is very much like that. You have Andy, he's pretty typical. Uh, Haley, eh. Uh, Jonah, he's pretty rockin'. And then, but then later on, you get some really fun characters like like Amon Ra, I guess he's like an Egyptian god, I have no idea, wrong way. What else we got here? Sneaky Pete, Zug Zug, he's a caveman, because, you know, why not? Uh, Rotney, who is a zombie, and then we have Michael Hawk, Agent Michael Hawk, which is the James Bond-like character. Now these are really cool because they're voiced, but also they have their own endings. When you play through the campaign or the world tour or whatever it is, uh, they all have their own ending. So anyways, for this game, we are going to play. Who should we play as? Should we play as somebody? Let's, let's play as a, uh, let's play as... 007 or Michael Hawk. Ready for a little excitement? Okay. So, there are eight different courses, and I'm going to show them here Bermuda Blast, uh, Dino Dominion, Polar Plunge, Cannibal Cove, Downtown Downpour. That's a really cool one where uh, a city's being flooded in real time. Blackwater Castles, like a a scary one. Gold Rush Rapids is a really interesting one. Kind of hard though. And then Venetian Extreme is a James Bond one. Now the reason why I'm talking about those is because I'm not gonna play all those. We are gonna start with the very first one because I think it shows off the game the best. Put that on pro. We're gonna do three laps. So to note right here is that uh, in Bermuda Blast, it's a really cool one because it starts in kind of, uh, uh, you know, the sunny, warm, tropical area, and then very quickly we are going to be transported somewhere else, and you'll see what I mean. So this game was created by Rainbow Studios. They, they may sound familiar to some of you. Um, they Their very first game was Motocross Madness, I believe, on Windows. So a motorcycle game. But then they went on to make the ATV or the MX versus ATV games. So if you've played any of those, uh, more than likely, especially through like the PlayStation 3 era, it was Rainbow Studios. They also did a really interesting Wii game called Deadly Creatures back in the day. All right, let's do it. Let's go. So, oops, very right up. Oh my God. <laughs> so the AI is pretty cheap in this game, FYI. Sorry, just doing my job has a full-on trick system, you notice there, and it's in multiple stages. Uh, but anyways, what I was gonna get to is that right off the bat, oh, here we're gonna change. Look at that. Now we're someplace else. Now we are in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Notice all the crashed ships and airplanes. Um, but anyways, what I was trying to say is that this game is obviously inspired by one of the greatest N64 games of all time, which is Wave Race. But I'll be honest with you, this game's better. And I, and I don't say that lightly because Wave Race, when that first came out on N64, blew my mind. But this take this is a mix of Wave Race and uh, SSX or Tony Hawk. 
And in this game, like Wave Race, you need to pass buoys on the correct side or it powers down your jet ski. This is a good level for showing off some of the physics and, and water effects too. Notice those waves there kind of bounces your uh, your sea dew or jet ski around. And that is, that is lap one. And you'll notice that it starts changing in subtle ways. You'll notice things in the background like, um, well, you'll see planes start crashing, boats fall out of the sky. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Now the trick system is kind of interesting. It's again, similar to SSX, but different in, in one important way. Oops, oh, I almost missed that. Um, you hold down the L1, R1, and R2 triggers to do tricks for your character. And you have three different stages. Notice, oops, crap, I missed that buoy. Uh, notice the little indicator. See that, that the thing just fell out of the sky? It's like an aircraft carrier. And it explodes, and then we're gonna go through the middle of it as it's sinking. Uh, but anyways, you have three levels of boost. And so if you're able to pull off three tricks in a row in the air without crashing, then you get a ton of boost. Notice the alien there just beam somebody up. So the Bermuda Triangle is very weird. Um, but anyways, so you hold down L1, R1, or R2, and then you push left or right up and down in combinations of the D-pad to do, do the different tricks. And then L2 is tricks of the, um, the sea dew And you can do things like barrel rolls and stuff like that. Although it's kind of hard to do because you have to do them on ramps. And honestly, like right here, didn't work. <laughs> it, I, I mean, it's not, it's not the game. I'm sure it's possible to do it. It's just, it's more difficult to do the vehicle ones than, than the character ones like that. That's pretty easy. Oh, I am kicking the computer's butt, but it is the first level. And I gotta be honest with this, when it comes to the to tricks, I kinda just randomly go left, right. So notice we're gonna switch back and we're back. So that's the first example of the tracks, but they just get even more interesting. So we'll continue on here. Sure, player one. Now you'll notice that you have points, and initially when you launch this game or you buy it, um, you have to unlock a lot of stuff. You unlock better sea dues you unlock different, um, you know, um, outfits. Uh, then also the the other advanced tracks. I've unlocked everything here because I play this game a lot. It's true. One of the downsides of this game is the long load times. It's not horrible, but every time you move in and out of, of the menu system, it takes a little while to load, but eh, what are you gonna do? This is a pretty early PS2 game, if I remember. It came out in, I think, 2003. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back and let's change out our character. Let's play Rotney. He's got a really cool sea dew where it's like this skeleton thing. And then we are gonna go on to Dino Dominion. This is a really fun one because it's inspired by Jurassic Park, and you'll see why. Now I'm playing on pro difficulty. Hopefully I won't get my butt kicked, but we'll see. I know these tracks fairly well. The later tracks I don't know quite as well, but uh, but these first three or four, I know pretty well. And this is a really fun one because it changes quite a bit too. Well, the, the environment around changes and you'll see the dinosaurs change, it's cool. All right, here we go, Rotney. Rut row, Rotney. go. Now I'm playing this in 480p. This game supports standard def, uh, 480i, or 480p, which is kind of nice. So it's a little bit crisper than normal. I was kind of happy to learn that it supported that. 
Oh. Stay on target. There we go. All right. So notice that there are dinosaurs and they're walking about. They're having a drink. Oh, shit. Missed that. Darn it. Oh. And wiped out. All right. It is harder to talk and play games than you might think. It's a bit of a skill, for sure. I like this. It's funny because I would have never thought I would like Sea-Doo jet ski games. Um, you know, I've been on one a couple times and they're fun. But there is something very unique about being on a jet ski because just the way that they handle and the way that you have to work with the water and the waves and stuff, it's really interesting. Like for instance, if you want to turn sharp, you actually push your nose down and then to the left or right and you can, you can pivot pretty tightly. But if you want to accelerate, you actually lean back. And I think that's because the jet ski is back there, but also the weight of the engine, it just somehow balances it out. And so this game makes you think of all of that stuff. Uh, also, cutting through waves right there. That's a nice little tactic. Okay, so lap two. Oops. And you're going to notice that things are a little bit different now. Pay attention to the dinosaurs on the shore. Something's not right with them. They're kind of... They're acting kind of erratic. Are they trying to attack me? What are they doing there? I'm gonna take a little side th thing here. A lot of these levels have these little side, um, you know, kind of secondary ways of getting through the level. Oops. There we go. Still in first place, still doing pretty well. So now all of a sudden the, uh, the, the dinosaurs and the, the life on the, on the level is acting kind of weird. They're not, are they out of control? Are they angry? Are they gonna revolt? You don't know yet. Jet us off here, there we go. Get some boost. All right, so lap three. Now you're gonna see why. Do, 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 do. Now notice, see, they're starting to fall apart. That's because the robots are breaking down and the whole place is falling apart. Notice the velociraptors there are all messed up. Again, it's just little touches like that are really neat in this game. And I don't feel like I've di discovered it all. I know there's probably shortcuts that I'm missing or little little things that I could be doing better. But it's pretty fast paced and so it's hard when you're racing to actually look around and try to look for, for different paths and, and things like that. And we're approaching, and damn, I'm doing pretty good. Kiss of death. And there we go. So that is the second second course. Pretty awesome. That was with, with Rotney. All right, next one. Polar Plunge, should we do that one? Or Cannibal Cro Cove? Let's do Cannibal Cove. This is a really fun one. This is kind of pirate themed. Now, this is the second game in the series. There was only two, um, but there was an original Splashdown game that came out also on the Xbox, and it's not as good. It's a, it's, a, it's a fine game. There's nothing really wrong with it, but it's not as whimsical as this one. This is the one where they really kind of went nuts with the, with the characters and the level design. But you can find both of them. Ah, oh, whoops, I almost missed that. Uh, you can find both of them very cheaply. 
But this is the one to get. And it only came out, this one only came out on the PlayStation 2. Oh, Mr. Bowie, I was talking. God. Still in the lead. All right, here we go. Three, no, no, no. Ah, oh, all right. Let's go through the skull. Let's go into the cave. A bit of a maze in here. But yeah, the nice thing about this game is it's not expensive. You can often find this game for two bucks, five bucks. It's not, it's not rare. It's not hard to find. And you can see it's pretty fun. I mean, you know, I've, I've been replaying this game recently and this game reminds me, oopsie pirate ship. This game reminds me of why I loved the PlayStation 2 era so much because there were so many games like this during that time where there was just a bunch of really well-made third party games that, that people were trying out. Oh, how did I wreck? Damn it. There's just a lot of these kind of fun games on the PlayStation 2. And, you know, I hate to sound like an old fuddy-duddy, but I kind of feel like the current generation is missing some of these, these little bit more whimsical, weird games. I mean, I don't know. Is it just me, you know? And, I, and more to the point, because I know there's indie games that are taking risks and take, you know, taking chances. But this is a triple A racing game that I don't think would be made today, you know? It's not that they couldn't do it, I just think that games are so expensive now that they're not willing to take a risk, oops, on a Sea-Doo game like this. Because it'd be too expensive to make and who knows if they'd make their money back. I don't know. I'm just all I know is it's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to the PlayStation 2 because there's fun, wacky, weird games like this. And, I don't know, it was just a great era. I'm gonna take a little shortcut here, just because, there we go. I'm not sure if that's even really short, but whatever. I don't know, what do you guys think, you know? I know personally, from a collecting standpoint, there are literally thousands of awesome PlayStation 2 games, and no one has played them all, so. All right, third lap, whoa. You're gonna see a little naval battle coming up here, right there. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. And now we're gonna go through the ship, which is kinda cool, and also the cave will have changed. Now I feel like I can go straight through there but I never tried it. That's probably a huge shortcut. Probably would probably would put me out right here. Come on, give me, give me three, give me three. There we go, there we go, three. So this is cool because it's changed a little bit in here as well. You'll see, oh, ah, stay on target, thank you. It's pretty tight in here, baby. Kind of hard to know where to go, honestly. See, oh, see, treasure room. It's kind of neat. Treasure. All right. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna do a really sharp corner. And that is the race. Really fun level. I like that one a lot. All right, let's do one more. Now I should say there's not just these circuit courses here. There's also stunt courses and also, uh, I forget what they call them, but oh well, here, I guess I can go up to the top here. So this is circuit, freestyle, time trials, technical time trials, you can practice. So uh, the circuits are obviously the ones I spend the most of my time in because they're the ones that change so much. But the freestyle is actually pretty cool. These are, these are big, insane stunt courses where they're, they almost defy logic. They're they're kind of up in the air, they're down below. Um, if you buy the game, definitely spend some time in there. That can be a lot of fun. Uh, also can be fun in multiplayer. But right now I'm focusing on just the, the kind of big ones here. But So let's do the polar 
plunge. All right, here we go. This one's cold, lots of ice. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice my love. Damn, I'm a good singer. All right, here we go. This one has lots of waves. It's very wavy. Heel clicker. Now I'd love to do one of those vehicle stunts, but I swear to God, I can't do, oh. Oh, that sucked. Uh oh, that sucked. That's all right, that's all right. Have faith, have faith. I like the look of this one. The, the art style is really cool. It's interesting because you're kind of going through this massive ice cave and it's cool how there's stuff frozen in the ice, like it's been there for years and years. Kind of crazy though, when you look at this, it's not, especially when you first start playing this game, you don't know where the hell to go. Oh, 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 oh. I like how, how ice blue the water is, it's cool. Again, I just love how whimsical this game is, you know? I don't know. I, I like games that, that that focus on the fun, you know? I don't need realistic all the time. Realistic has its place, don't get me wrong. And that is that is one of the things that Nintendo, I think, does very well, is that they never really focus on the realistic, as far as I know. And I think other companies can be, you know, should be reminded of that a little bit. I think nowadays, if they would make this, you know, remake this game, kind of like how they remade SSX, where it was a little bit more realistic, a little bit more gritty. It's just like, it, it just loses all of its personality, all of its charm. So, I don't know. Sadly, Rainbow Studios is no longer in business. They were closed down after making a ton of really awesome racing games, I have to admit, because if you haven't played some of those MX versus ATV games, e again, even if you're not into those kind of vehicles, you should definitely check those games out because they're really well made. They're, you can tell, it's like, they're a lot of fun. So, also too, that reminds me is that I've talked about this game before on my channel. Oops, <laughs> oh, dope. Um, and I got contacted by one of the, the guys who helped made it, make this game. And I don't remember if he was a producer or just one of the, of the coders or whatever, but he thanked me for, for talking about it because this was such a labor of love for them. And it shows, you know, again, it's fun. And it, it stands the test of time. It's just as fun as the day I first discovered it. So, oops, whoa, see that? <laughs> I'm sucking. Come on, there we go. Is that the finish? No, 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 that's lap two. Okay, cool. I like cutting through those waves. That feels really good. The little penguins are, are playing. Superman, okay. Lazy boy, there we go. For some reason I'm not doing so well with the tricks this, on this level. Notice that the ice is kind of collapsing in on itself, tightening the corners, oops. Pull back, get some speed. Oh, slop, I'll take it, oh. Ugh, not good. Oh, I think that was a shortcut. Damn it, I wish I would have hit that. I don't know where all the shortcuts are. If you are a master at this game, it's probably painfully aware. You're like, uh, dude. <laughs> but you know, oh, see, look at right up there. I bet you I could go around that, that side up there. Damn it, that makes me want to explore. It's hard to explore when you're racing, you know what I mean? 
course, I'm pretty far ahead. I could probably spend a little time, but I'm scared too. I don't want to lose. Roll over. Roll over, Beethoven. Here we go. Yeah, I'm like 17 seconds ahead. Oh, no, no, see that where it changed again? Bust through the ice. Superman. And scene. All right, guys. Well, that is a quick little let's play of one of my favorite hidden gems on the PlayStation 2. Again, that is Splashdown Rides Gun Wild. If you have a PlayStation 2 and you're looking for a really fun racing game and it's cheap, it, everyone should own this if you like those kind of racing games. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for subscribing and take care. Hey, it's Mrs. Metal Jesus here. If you want to see even more videos, go to MetalJesusRocks.com. It's got his entire catalog, swag, Facebook, and Twitter links. Plus, we got live footage of our band playing, including me on drums. So check it out, bitches.